Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode on how to make a 3D multiplayer game using 3.js and Firebase. So in this episode we're going to host our ga game onto a website and uh, conveniently enough Firebase provides a really nice hosting solution to do exactly this. So in order to host our game we are going to use uh, Firebase's command line interface tool. So let's get started. Right away we see we need to install node.js. So you can install it on their site here and use uh, use the one that's related with your machine. Next we need a command we need to run this command and uh, to do this we need a command line tool and I'm going to use git which you can get here and once you've got that I've already got it installed, so I'm going to open it up. We need to run this npm install command. So npm install dash g firebase dash tools. Press enter. Now this takes a while to uh, install, but I've, and I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to run that. And afterwards, um, you log in. So firebase login and press enter, but I've already logged in. And that's it. So next we're going to go to our project directory. Now the change the change directory command is cd um, and I'm going to change to my desktop and then we can change again to our project file. So mine's called, ours is called uh, mp, mp template. Mine's called mp template, maybe yours is different. Um, so mp template one and then we need to run the firebase init command which they tell us here initializing a project directory firebase init so firebase init they ask us a few questions here So here we go. Um, are you ready to proceed? Yes. Uh, what Firebase command line interface features do you want to set up for your folder? I'm going to select um, configure and deploy Firebase hosting sites and I'm, I'm controlling this using the arrow keys. So press enter. What file should be used for your database rules? Uh, before we go any further with this, Let's go back to our um, Firebase database. Let's go to rules. Let's copy this. I'm going to copy this. And create a file called database.rules.json. We're doing this because uh, I had to learn hard way that uh, they're going to override our rules in here so this is going to be gone um, it'll be back to the default rules of true true for reading and writing um, so let's just go ahead and avoid that right away and so we placed our rules within this bracket so it should look like this you can pause it at any time. And that's good enough. Let's go back to command line interface. Uh, this is good enough, so I'm going to press enter. Uh, override, no. And what do you want to use your pub, uh, as your public directory? So the public directory is going to be the file where they're going to serve the public files. So everything in the public directory is accessible through a uh, URL. Um, yeah, the so we can change the name if we wanted, but I'm just going to leave it as the default public. Um, configure as a single uh, page application, yes. This is a single page application. I'm going to go ahead and take our, our uh, JS and CSS files, place them in public, as well as our main. And I'm going to rename the main. I'm going to delete this index file. 
that they give to us uh, automatically. I'm going to rename this into index. Okay. Now, what Firebase project do you want to associate this with? I'll associate it with the MP template one. And uh, it looks like initialization is complete. There's just one, a few more things we need to do before this is going to work for us. Uh, so we're going to have a, an error, which I've taken a picture of here, actually. So the error is, uh, so our website is served over HTTPS, but requested an insecure script, which is the 3.js library. This request has been blocked because the content um, is not HTTPS. It needs to be served over uh, an SSL certificate. So right away we, we know that this is going to fail because I've, I've encountered it before. So we're going to go to this website and just grab the um, the script uh, right from the page. So we can take it, save as, and mp template one public js lib, and save the three .js file there. And let's see. Then I'm going to take this js lib uh, path and preface it, preface it here in front of the 3.js part and save that. And we should be good. So let's go ahead and run Firebase deploy. And it's as easy as that. Once our file, once uh, our files are processed, then our website will be deployed. So here we see that it's complete. Now we can run the com the Firebase open command. Firebase open. And they ask us what link would you like to open? Our project dashboard, analytics database. Let's go down to hosting and deployed site. Press enter. Maybe I should go over here. Okay, I'll just do it myself. MP template uh, one. Here we go. So maybe there's an error. Okay. Looks like there is an error. I thought we took care of that. Um, maybe we didn't save the file. No, we saved it. So let's look at the source. Okay. Uh, it's index. It's the index. My bad. It's not the main file anymore. It's the index. And we save this. And um, run Firebase deploy again. And let's go ahead and delete this uh, <laughs> this main that, that we saved. And let's exit that main that we are trying to update to. And the rest of these files. Um, okay, let's refresh this. Awesome. And this looks good. Signed in, signed out. Okay, um, I don't know who that is, but let's go ahead and open this with Firefox. Not now. So 
if we open this with Firefox okay looks looks good looks our, our game is still running okay and so now you can share the link with your friends and you can move around as cubes okay so I think this is the end of this tutorial series I'm not sure what else to do next uh, relating to uh, this game I, I really just wanted to make uh, a tutorial series on uh, making a template for you to get started with your own multiplayer game so now you're familiar with like the networking and the 3d aspect of course is uh, I'm using 3ds um, but if you have any suggestions on on what to do next uh, I'm, I'm open you can just uh, leave a comment and I guess I'll see you in another video thanks for watching